Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Chukunon Soul Captures, aka Mazi. Check on, check on, aka the photo cosmetic surgeon, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Shout out to all my clients out there. You are appreciated. Special thanks to all the models and muses out there. You keep me inspired, and one love to all of my supporters on social media. You keep me going. So you click on this video because you saw this the thumbnail and you wanted to know how to do flash photography shoots with color gels, right? Okay, so I'm gonna jump right into um, some behind the scenes footage of a, a photo shoot that I did here in Photo Lab. So uh, shout out to Sinek, uh, wonderful model, wonderful muse. I'm gonna link her um, Instagram in the description below. So I'm gonna jump right into it and kind of walk you through some of the steps on how to create um, the picture that you saw in the thumbnail, that before and after, like the studio setup, and then the uh, um, the result picture. All right. Okay. So without further ado, follow me to um, the um, the behind the scenes footage, and we'll get started. Let's go. All right. So this is the behind the scenes footage that I have here from that day. So I have uh, Sonique sitting here, ready to uh, start the photo shoot. And I'm about to hand her um, the packet of color gels so that she can select um, which color she wants to add some interesting looking lighting effects on the sides of her, the left and the right sides. You can see how the flash units set up here. And uh, she's about to select which colors that she wants. And when she hands them to me, um, I'll go and install them in the, um, the flashes that I have, these two Photix flashes that I have. Um, so I believe she's just select them and she's handing them to me and I'm probably just kind of doing some, some last minute things, um, um, just looking at my camera settings and then I've positioned the flash units here. Um, it's important to, to not position the flash units like in front of your subject or too close to them and also tell, you know, the subjects not to look at the flash. You don't want to to you know blind the subject or the model you know what i'm saying so um i'm about to come over here and install them um. so i think i am yep coming up now and i'm just going to show you which ones i'm using that's so uh Sonique selected purple and red it looks like and so I'm gonna go and install these in the um, in front of the flash these are mag mod um, flash modifiers so these are really nice convenient color gels that you could use um, really nice they're just magnets they pop right onto your flash really convenient to use to just add some creative effect to your studio shoots. So I just pop them both in and I think I'm gonna start taking a few, um, a few test shots now. Um, I think I might have just been reviewing my notes on my phone just to make sure that I uh, have everything set up uh, properly. And I have some music playing in the background. That's kind of why Sonic is bopping the head dancing and stuff like that. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, going to start. So the camera settings that I use uh, for this are um, aperture of 4.5, ISO 1600, shutter speed of 1 640th of a second and the lens is a focal length of 50 millimeters so i think i would just i took a few test shots and i didn't like the way the flash was hitting it so i think i just went and changed the angle a little bit and the um i used the lowest flash setting so the flash setting on both of these is um one um 128th of um an exposure that's the exposure value one over 128 and i'm um, just taking a few test shots and um, yeah, so I mean, I'll show the results uh, next up on the uh, the screen towards the end of this behind the scenes. Um, 
the same result that you know you obviously saw in the uh, the thumbnail of the um, of this YouTube video. But that's essentially the setup. I mean, you know, obviously there's ambient light here in the background, um, but the uh, the fast shutter speed, um, the one over 640th, and the closed down aperture, the uh, f 4.5 um, makes the camera see a lot less uh, light essentially and um, that kind of darkens the ambient you know what I'm saying so even though you have light in the picture the shutter speed and the aperture kind of uh, makes the eye of the camera see less light so the picture is darker because you only want the light from the flash to be hitting her you know what I'm saying? You only want the camera to see the light from the flash. So what you do is you kind of make the picture darker with those camera settings. And then I added in the flash to see how it looked. Um, to see if the, the flash was, you know, brightened up and it was only um, basically casting the colored light um, at a good enough intensity to make the picture look nice and dramatic. You know what I'm saying? And um, I guess I saw that it wasn't as dramatic as it, I guess the, the, the light wasn't as bright as it could have been. And so instead of me going and opening up the aperture um, a little bit more or um, slowing down the shutter speed, I just cranked the ISO up to um, uh, ISO 1600, you know what I'm saying? That was quicker to just change that one camera setting as opposed to uh, changing the other two, the aperture and the shutter speed. And so, yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, that's kind of the end of this behind the scenes, but I hope that made sense. I'm gonna put the picture up on the screen next so you can see what the final result was. All right, I hope that was fun. Uh, I hope you learned something and I hope that you enjoyed that video too. So if you really like this YouTube channel, um, please continue to support it. Please like the video. Uh, please um, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below um, if this is the way that you set up um, your flash photography shoots or if you're a photographer too, if you have any pointers for me. Um, if you're just new to photography, let me know. Do you like doing flash photography? Do you not like doing it? Let me know your thoughts down below. Please share this with a friend as well too and hit the um, bell button to get a notification anytime I post a new video. All right, thanks. I appreciate everybody's support. Um, let me know whatever types of videos you guys want to see next and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, take care.